Hello brothers and sisters, happy Easter. Christ is risen. He is truly risen. And this is why we sing hallelujah. This is why we can approach God with confidence, as even scriptures say, because Jesus Christ is the one who knows what we go through in our lives as human beings, who knows that we need someone to come to be with us, to know our struggles, someone who can take upon himself our temptations, our sufferings, our crosses, and who can lead us back towards the Father. This is what Jesus has come to do, to reconcile us with God the Father, so that we may go through this journey of life with faith, knowing that God is for us. And this is in a special way what we celebrate as well in the second Sunday of Easter called the Divine Mercy Sunday. Even the Gospel today tells us about how Jesus appeared to the disciples on two occasions and on both occasions he said, Peace be with you, right? This peace that comes from knowing that Jesus Christ has overcome death. And because he entered into death and came back from the dead, we know through our faith that we can also face death. The daily deaths that we go through, you know, trying to overcome our selfishness, trying to please God with our actions, even by asking him for forgiveness. All those deaths to selfishness, they are things that are given to us, events that God, pro that God provides us with, courage, strength that God gives us through the faith that he has called us to in Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ overcame death and also our physical death one day will be overcome. For this time we still have to face the reality of death. Sometimes we have to bury and pray for a loved one who has passed away. But we know that when our Lord comes again, He is going to put an end even to physical death. And then we'll be with Him forever. But even now, in this time that we are living, in our own experience of life, Jesus Christ comes and tells us, Peace be with you. And not only that, I'm sending you. God is sending us. He's not just calling us to be at peace, comfortable in our own selfish lives, but to go out and to be like the disciples, able to proclaim Him, so that many people may come to believe, may come to experience how good it is, how sweet it is to know God as the true Father that He is. And this is mercy, brothers and sisters. The mercy of God has been shown to us on the face of Christ. Because as the Bible says, right? The way we know that God loves us is that He sent His only Son to die for us. God has loved us, first of all, and has not withdrawn His only Son, but has offered Him as a sacrifice for our sanctification, for our reconciliation with Him. And when we have assurance of that in our hearts, we can take every opportunity to speak well of God, to share the goodness of God with others, to say to others, you know, my hope does not, is not uh, relying on myself, my peace is not f uh, found on my securities, on my job, on my career, on my uh, relationships with others. My peace, my hope is on God because God is faithful. God is merciful and He shows His mercy to us every day by giving us a new day of life, by being always ready to forgive us and by sending us out into this world as disciples even though we are not perfect. Who said we have to be perfect? Perfection comes from relying on God, from having faith in Him. And that faith is what truly makes us children of God, what gives us the power to call God our Father 
as Jesus commanded us. So, brothers and sisters, let us rejoice, as even the devotion to the divine mercy uh, teaches us, we offer to the Father the body and blood, soul and divinity of his dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and the sins of the whole world. In that prayer, we dare to hope that everyone may experience the mercy of God, that everyone may find salvation in God by experiencing His true mercy, by experiencing a relationship with the Father. So let us pray today that God may continue fulfilling this work that He has already started with us, also by giving us all that we need, the gifts of the Holy Spirit that He gave to His Apostles, so that we may go full of courage into the world and announce good news to all those we meet. God bless you. Happy Easter.